welcome to the British Beer Podcast. This is, I've just written it down, I'm going to say 73rd. Correct. Woo! Yes, 73rd. 73rd. I think anyone who's keeping it in should check. Other Fringe shows by now will have done five. <laughs> yeah, so rocking it through. Um, yeah. So just a few things before we start. Um, just to let you know, this performance, like all of our performances, is a relaxed performance. So that just means we've got a relaxed attitude to any like um, sound or movement from audience members. Just for anyone who might be able to kind of sit still uh, or be silent throughout the duration of the show. If at any point um, you need to leave, please feel free to run through the door at the back. There's a seat and there's some water out there to help yourselves. Give me a shout if you need anything. Um, during the show as well, there won't be any like loud bangs or anything like that. There might be some background music that'll, that'll come in, but it won't be too loud. <laughs> Just exactly like that. <laughs> Literally. She loves a little hand thing and the music yeah. turns up. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Um, the lights should stay like this throughout the whole hour. Um, we have been having some like issues with the house lights, so these the lights here will be on throughout. If they do them, I'm quite confident I'll run and get them, so hopefully it won't be any more than a couple of seconds. But my apologies already if that happens. Uh, I'll pass over to Leo just now, who is our games map. I thought I said your name wrong there. I was like, no, 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 no that's right. No, I was doing a bit. Of course, that's a very strong resting bitch face. This is what he does. It was, <laughs> it was visual comedy. Hi, uh, my, my name's Leo. I'm the games master for this hour and until three o'clock. Uh, for those of you who are unsure as to what this is, um, it's a tabletop role-playing game, uh, which means that the people on my left and right here have individual characters, all two of them, have individual <laughs> characters that will interact with the world. Um, it's just this script is designed for four people. Um, we'll be fine. Individual uh, characters that they use to interact with the world, and I am playing the rest of the world. So I play all the monsters, their allies, uh, their friends, their enemies. Uh, we go through the story by the players telling me how they want to interact with the world and I tell them how the world interacts back and sometimes we use dice to mediate things, uh, keep things fair or hilariously unfair depending on whose perspective you're taking. Um, yeah. Just a, a quick recap of the story so far. Uh, the players are members of the Spirit of the Horizon, a... Um, scientific research vessel uh, which awakened an ancient evil god uh, and in trying to run away uh, cast a spell that they were far too under uh, they, they had no knowledge of this spell and it, it sent them all the way into another reality uh, entirely um, and they're desperately trying to find their way home um, by making friends uh, occasionally making enemies and trying to puzzle together this broken piece of a uh, uh, an ancient magic tablet that they're hoping is going to help them get back. Um, however, along the way, their gunpowder was all stolen from them. So they're trying to find some more gunpowder, and this has led them to the Manura Jam, where um, or Sham, I'm told. Uh, it's an Indonesian word, Leo. It is, it is a real thing. There we go. Uh, where the birds like Maguro people. Um, Stay. They talked to a Maguro called Ratchet, who said he'd be able to try and help them synthesize a, some gunpowder uh, if they help him take care of what he called the clankers. Uh, upon investigation, uh, these turned out to be clockwork automatons, uh, which seemed to be doing maintenance on the strange towers um, of the Manura Jam. Uh, they followed one of these down into a flooded section of the tower that they were on, and uh, the very last thing that happened, uh, music please cat, uh, is where uh, they got attacked by a water elemental, um, which happened to be uh, catching up a bunch of uh, piranha-like fish inside of it. And uh, that's the last thing that happened. Uh, sorry, cat, something a bit more battly. Please, yes, indeed. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, water! <laughs> water appears to have sentience. Oh. Before we get into uh, this uh, slug fest, which is what it's un undoubtedly going to turn into. The old true, but yeah. Um, let's let's meet our players. Uh, do tell us your name and tell us who you're playing and what would distinguish them from the rest of the crew. So I am Isla. I am playing Noggin, who is a gnome rogue. I am the ship's dentist, and. I like collecting things. Ships need dentists. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, I, I collect things such as shiny things and teeth, but he doesn't like me stealing things, so it's oh, not going very well. Stealing is definitely wrong. Um, I'm Ulmon, I'm the ship's cleric, healer, surgeon, occasional helmsman. Um, I'm a cleric of uh, the Lord of Lights. Unfortunately, I've now discovered in this universe my traditional uh, sunlight beaming out the hands and, you know, crusaders outfit is not the done thing. So I'm currently wearing a cloak made entirely of radiant feathers and my magic has started coming out kind of rainbow, sparkly-like. Not 100% on it, but I'm going with it. Make it work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Let's get into the story. Uh, Olmon has cast a very powerful control water spell to uh, make sure that they have uh, a space. I imagine to walk there's through. sort of a hue rainbow effect to it. Yeah, yeah, just a little sparkle. Uh, just a little sparkle on the edges. Um, so this is where they stand. Uh, the our two protagonists uh, in a ten foot cube of air as the very water around them begins to hit them with appendages and. Um, Fists like extensions. Uh, we're gonna call that a uh, s- 20 on Noggin, which hits, I presume. <laughs> yeah. As you watch, Noggin is reached, uh, it, the hands reach out and pull Noggin into the water. Can I get a strength saving throw from you, Noggin? Right. 10. Yep, you're pulled into the water. Um, taking uh, 14 bludgeoning oh, damage. For goodness sake, I don't want to die. Uh, and you are now considered grappled. Uh, and, oh, no, restrained, sorry, because you're unable to breathe underwater. There we are. Um, it's her turn first. It's, it's not good, it's your turn. Okay, so if I am, what, restrained, then yeah. I, I have to try and break that before I can do anything else, right? Pretty much, yeah. Right, so I'm going to try and break that. Is that the strength again? So you're trying to break back into the cube of air. Yes, it will be. Four. No. No. (laughs) No. Sorry about that. Um. So, can I reach into my pockets for anything? I've got fast hands, so I can use it as a free action. Uh, yeah. Go on. What are you reaching for? My fire starter. (laughs) I don't know if fire is going to be damaging to a water thing. Is that okay. going to work underwater? <laughs> you are literally underwater right now. You're I have no out. idea what I'm doing. I'm grasping at straws. Well, grasping at my fire. Fire, fire starters, yeah. Probably exactly. made a straw, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, you pull the fire starter out and it instantly becomes sodden um, in the water, <laughs> thus negating its use. I put it back in my pocket. <laughs> okay, but now now note that it is a sodden fire starter. Fire starter times four. <laughs> I am generous. Yes, yes. I am the kindest GM. Yes, yes. Um, come on. Well, control water. I can affect up to a hundred feet cubed of water. Yes. So, I where this ten by ten foot cube was. I push out and make it an 100 by 100 foot cube. Okay, going up as well? Or just stopping Mm. at the ceiling of the room that you're in? I think stopping at the ceiling of the room, so it's... Okay, Which means I've still actually got, like, a lot more water I could move, but I'm choosing not to at this point in time. Okay, so you just make the entire uh, room that you're in uh, waterless, as it were. You push it away, (laughs) um, except the... The form of the water elemental now stands mm. before you. Oh, I see you. I see you. It's it's this sort of seven foot, great big. Uh, it looks vaguely humanoid, except mm. it doesn't have two legs. It's got one big sort of tail. Um, sure. It's got these two fists though, and Noggin is floating inside of it. Um, sadly, also floating inside of it are a bunch of uh, <laughs> snapping fish, as we established. Uh, last episode. Right. Um, well, as a bonus action, then I cast Spiritual Weapon, which takes the form of. Oh. Go on. If no, you've got go a band- on, no, if you've got, no, you got an idea, I'd love to hear it. No, be, be creative. No, no, you, you were being creative. You have an idea. Please hit me. Uh, a spinning uh, pinwheel of blades, which, <laughs> which give off these rainbow sparks <laughs> as they spin. <laughs> 
Fine, it does that and all. <laughs> it does that and all, and I'll ram it into the elemental while still holding. I can, it's not concentration, I can do that. So while still holding the water at bay, just. Um, sure, absolutely. Like a fan? Yeah, like a. Like what in the original D and D was called a glaive, but is not actually a glaive. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So a spinning thing. Yeah. So yeah. So it's a wheel with blades that are coming around, and you've got little rainbows sparking off of it. Great. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. So it's a. It's. So a, it looks very much like a symbol of a wazo, except it's a weapon. I think that works. That's that's within rights. So that is a um, eleven to hit. Eleven does not hit. Yeah. There we well. go. And the, and the spinning blades come along, and the just the water beast sort of reforms its body so that the it remains just hovering there, Harry in, it, in its space. Fantastic. I'm still holding the water back. Um, the fish, uh, Noggin, you become aware that there are fish all around you, <laughs> and they are hungry fish. Um, the fish come in to bite you, My rolling fish. a critical failure. <laughs> And what did they do, bite their own cheeks? <laughs> and a, an 11. Oh, 11 does not hit. Okay. The fish are somewhat confused, startled. They're not used to being in a water elemental. They're used to being in the sea. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and they're still adjusting to their new home. They smell that there is food here, but they don't know how to get at it quite yet. Um, you're st- it's terrifying. You've got these little piranhas all around it. <laughs> Uh, desperately trying to snap at your face. Um, the water elemental is just going to come in on Ulmorn and slam him. Uh, with You're welcome to wall. try. I will try. You are welcome to. That would be a 24. Well, that and, does hit. Yeah. And a 19. Uh, n- yeah, they both hit. Okay. You take... 13 damage and... 14 damage, so 27 damage. <laughs> and I would like you to make concentration throws, please, for the control water spell. Uh, that is an eight. Yep. Um, yep. As, as the water, as the uh, this water smashes you in the face, you suddenly lose uh, lose your ability to concentrate on the control water spell. Yeah. Um, also, isn't spiritual weapon a contr- uh, concentration spell? No. Oh, is it not? Okay, no. fair enough. And suddenly, the water that you had been holding back crashes in on you from both sides. Um, can I can I get a strength saving throw from you, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. That's a five. <laughs> oh god, I'm really not usually this mean. Um, you take s- 10 points of bludgeoning damage as the water slams back into you from all angles. Above, up, down, and you're tossed about. Uh, you How's my feather cloak doing? Not great, mate. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> it's, it's torn apart right up into the shoulder blades. So it's now more of a feather um, cowl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Except without the hood, it's yeah. just it's just a, a decorative shoulder piece. Right, <laughs> gotcha. Um, it's now Noggin's turn. Okay, well. Any bright ideas, Noggin? No, just try and get out. Swim, swim, swim. Okay, roll a strength check for me. What strength? Uh, five. <laughs> Noggin cannot get out of here. <laughs> you desperately try and pull your way, but your tiny gnome arms are not strong enough, God damn it! <laughs> right, can I try and s- sword at some of the fish? You're restrained. I can't do anything. means you will have disadvantage on the attack. Well, I but can try. Sure. Since they are also technically restrained by this thing. Arguably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Nine plus six. Fifteen to hit. Yeah, okay. You extend your sword and you manage to poke one of the piranhas <laughs> through with it. Uh, roll damage for me. Good start, good start. Uh, eight. Eight. Uh, in fact, you kill a couple of piranhas. It's not bad. And they, they go on my little 
sword, like a yeah, like kebab. a like a ba- kebab. You now have a piranha kebab <laughs> on your swords. <laughs> right. Um, I think it's now Olmon, isn't it? Yep. Yep. The, mm, isn't it the elemental first? No, because I've been doing this out of order. Oh, okay. Um, for, for narrative reasons. Okay. I want to do many things. I don't know which one's going to work. Um, I start by casting Beacon of Hope. Okay. Uh, bright light shines out of me. This is a rainbow hue again, washing over both of us. Uh, we get advantage on wisdom saving throws, death saving throws, and regain maximum numbers of hit points from any possible healing. Very useful. All right, it is. Uh, so a rainbow sort of sparkle comes out from you. A rainbow sparkle, yeah. It's yep. a rainbow sparkle. Yep. Yep. I and am a My Little Pony. <laughs> and engulfs the entire room. Um, you suddenly see this light come out of nowhere, Noggin, um, and uh, you figure that that, wherever wherever Olmorn is, it's the centre of that light. You also feel suffused with hope. Suffused with hope. <laughs> yeah. Good. What were the stat things? Uh, so oh, you get advantage we'll get on wisdom saving throws yeah. and on death saving throws, which may become relevant for you in the mm. near future. Yes. <laughs> um, and and any healing magic that gets cast on you. Was there any healing at all? So potions as well? You know what? Uh, I don't remember. You get full, rather than rolling dice, you just get full max from okay. it. I think it's just, yeah, and regains maximum of hit points from any healing. So okay, so yeah, all, all healing. Might need that. Yeah. It's a very useful spell. So that's your action. That's my action. As a bonus action, I make the uh, swirling um, <coughs> blades of Oazo go have another dig at the uh, water elemental. Okay, then. Make an attack. Plus seven. Yes, 20. Uh, that hits. Yes, Roll your it damage. does. Uh, hmm, 11. 11 points of force damage. Okay. Um... The blades have continued to spin throughout the entire deluge coming back, yep. um, and they cut through a piece of the jet stream that you are desperately trying to keep your eyes on so you mm. don't lose where it is mm. uh, in the middle of all this water. Um, now it's the fish. Oh dear. So that's an 18 and a 19 to hit. Yeah, they both hit. They both hit. Uh, you take 28 points of piercing damage as the fish just... Su- 28? S- this is serious. 14 each. 14 each. <laughs> um, as the fish zone in on you and just start biting you all over. They're not happy that you killed eight of their friends. Uh, what? How, how bad are you? I'm just trying to figure that out. Um... I got 35 minus 28 is math. Seven. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hit the microphone. <laughs> seven. I was hoping someone would help seven. me. You're seven. on seven. I'm on seven. That's what I thought. I hoped it would be better than that, but the math is not in my favour. <laughs> right. Okay. And now, it, and now it's the water elemental's turn. Wonderful. Uh, Wonderful. He's going to come straight for you, uh, hitting you with his two jet stream arms mm-hmm. uh, for an 18 and a 26. Yep, those both hit. Remember when I was rolling really badly for the yeah, last Yeah, I really hours? do. I really do, Leo. <laughs> um, uh, the first one's 13 damage, and the second one is 15 damage. 28 damage. 28. Not doing very well. Yeah. There's only two of you. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this is going swimmingly. Yay! Hey. Oh. <laughs> pun. It's a pun. Right. He's not a fan of puns. No. <laughs> I think the best plan... It's not my turn. No, it's not your <laughs> turn. Noggin, it's your turn. Try and get out. Yeah. Come on, please. 17. 17! You finally managed yes. to break through the water <laughs> elemental. Um, I, mean, I can't see it underwater because we're underwater, but... <laughs> <laughs> and you start to desperately swim towards swim, swim, our one. Swim. Can I take... Not towards me, away! <laughs> I'm swimming towards you because you're my only hope. You filled me with hope, remember? Yes. I'm going to try and take a healing potion now. Yep. Can I do that It has bonus? been proved uh, on the internet that you can drink things underwater. Uh, if any of you want to question this, yeah, you, uh, please drink a healing potion. That will be 4d4. Plus oh, four. no, it won't be 4d4 plus no. 4. It'll, yes, be, it will. it'll be 20. 20. 
20. You get 20 yeah. hit points back. That is lovely. No, I mean, as in she doesn't have to roll oh, them. It will just be 20 hit points. Right. Uh, anything else? You technically still have an action. Oh, okay. Well, I'm... It's it. Yeah. Uh, it's I... engaged with Olmord at the moment, so this, this would be a sneak, news. It would be a sneak <laughs> attack. I will sneak attack. How far away from it am I? Is it short sword or Well, you were just distance? in it. Yes. Right, so I start swimming away, drink my potion, and then think, nah, I'll turn around and take my short sword and hit it. I may regret this question, but how long are we holding our breath for? Technically, according to the rules, you can hold your breath for one plus your constitution modifier in minutes. Three minutes for me? Three minutes for me, yeah. So you actually have 30 rounds, uh, although this has been three rounds. So we can do this. 27 20, rounds of air left to go. My character can hold his breath a lot longer than I can. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it, it feels large. It feels it? long. It feels long. <laughs> Make your attack. And since it's a short sword, you don't get disadvantage. Well, that doesn't give me advantage, though, does it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, no, it doesn't. Um, Is it not looking good? I have eight plus six. That is exactly what you needed. Oh, <laughs> good. 14, if you're wondering. It is exactly its AC. Right. So roll your 5d6 plus... Plus 3. Plus 3. Although, it's, what is that? My what Dex do I add? modifier. Then it's plus 4, because that recently just changed. Rules, rules. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want more? Two, uh, seven. seven. Plus 13. Six. Let's, how many is that? Two, seven. Three. Uh, 17. Uh, 19. That's five. Plus That's four. Five, plus four, 23. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not wow. sure about my own maths. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, d describe I was really angry. I didn't how, like being in there. <laughs> how is there anything precisely you're aiming for here to do 24 damage? Uh, it's made of water, Leah. I know. Yeah, I it, has no, it, has no, it has no organs. I thought I'd ask. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aiming at his head. You're aiming at his head? Yes. Yeah, it's short, and you just slash through. Um, Coming from slightly above, so it doesn't quite see you. Uh, Noggin's been in this position before, fighting sharks. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> that went much better than this one. <laughs> yes. Um, it is Ain't over till the fat now Holborn's turn. Right. How are you doing up hit point wise? 27. Out of? Out of 49. About halfway. Yeah. Yeah. In which case, I use me. Um, what's it called? The name wounds. No, oh, channel divinity. Oh, oh yes. Channel divinity to preserve life, which in this case is my bloody life because I'm looking pretty ropey, <laughs> and uh, give myself was it five times your yeah, rules. Your modifier? No, 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 no. It's. Um, or is it your level? I think it's five times your level. Which, which should be forty. I can't give myself 40, but if you've got uh, 48 hit points, that means you can have a total of 24 out of this, and I can have a total at 70 odd of uh, numbers, 76. So that means 38? Yes. What do you want? Nine. So if I to give myself... You want nine hit points? Yes. Wow. I know. If I give myself 29 and give you four, that means we're wasting some, but we're both up to half health, and that's just solid, and we're on it. Okay. So I do that. I grab my holy symbol, which is attached to my shield. It's uh, still the holy symbol you of my old god. You still have seven points of hit points just to deal out, if you want. No, it only goes up to half, if I can't go above half. Oh, you can't go above half? Yep. Oh, okay. That's this is more of a last ditch thing, which is why I'm doing it now. Um, so, grab the symbol. Get the light coming out through my hand. Again, it's got that rainbowy, twinkly thing. I just accept it. It's totally fine. And it burns out through me and lights up you, lights up me, and we're both reformed back to half hit points. There goes my sneak attack. And I'm all lit up now. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, if it attacks me, no, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, true. Um, although, why would it attack you? It's, it's just been hit by... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that is very true. I mean, it's entirely up to you how you handle that. The two swarms of kippers are going to desperately try and get out. Nope. <laughs> um, so they're still stuck in an elemental. Fine. Uh, and the elemental is going to turn and attack Noggin. Yep. 
with its jet stream hands. Do I see this attack? That's more like my rolling. Sorry. Do I see this attack? You would see it coming, yeah. So can I uncanny dodge? Would you like to wait and see if it hits? If it hits before yes, you declare I that. I will wait. <laughs> so one of them is a critical failure. <laughs> so I will not. <laughs> and the other one is a DC. Uh, sorry, is a uh, fourteen. Ah, oh, it doesn't hit. We're fine. No, there We're fine. we are. See, I am a generous dear. You just rolled badly there. It's not the same thing. <laughs> uh, so, and it's going to see if it gets its whelm back. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Right. Uh, cool. Uh, it goes back to Noggin. Right. I... I'm astounded you're standing and fighting this. Well, I don't... I'm, uh, I'm going to hit it again. I don't get as much stuff, but I'm going to hit it again. And that is a 22. That hits. And then it is five damage this time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, you bring your short sword around again and just jab at it. You're slightly desperate. It doesn't look like it's, it doesn't look like it's anywhere near giving up yeah. at this point. Then I'm gonna cunning action to disengage. Okay. And then I'm going to swim away. <laughs> swim away, swim away. Um, and you head towards the stairs. Yeah, yeah head sure. away. You, uh, run, your run, your run. movement is 25, 25, yes, but you're swimming, so it's halved. So you get halfway up to the steps. Mm -hmm. uh, Omon. I want to end this. Okay. So I reach out and do a garden bolt fire magical energy at it at fourth level. Wow. So that's seven D six worth of damage. Okay. Hits hits. Roll to hit. Fifteen. Yeah, that'll just hit. Nine. Fifteen. Uh, Nineteen. Twenty. Okay. And it looks like a rainbow. It's just literally a rainbow beaming out my hand. It's bing. <laughs> well, you actually it's at seven. So there's one color of the rainbow for every d d6 that you <laughs> rolled there. Lovely. So it's just a wonderful little blast of rainbow energy mm. as it uh, it blasts a hole in the water elemental and then it reforms okay. uh, slightly. Uh, it does look like it's taken some hits now. It's mm -hmm. like it's the jet stream is not quite as. Uh, strong as it was, mm -hmm. but it's still it's still going pretty strong. Um, it's gonna come for you then, Omon. Okay. I think uh, with uh, two slam attacks. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm you had your spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. I'm sorry. That's right. It was a twenty and a ten. So it'll hit me on one of them, but we'll get there. Um, the spiritual weapon also hits six. That's twelve plus seven, so it definitely. Hits. Okay. Cool. Roll damage for that. Uh, eight. Uh, and you take 10 damage Fine. from the slam attack. Have we got the battle music on? Yes, yeah, the choir. Oh, okay. Um, Is it still standing? It, oh, ex yeah, extremely. <laughs> it's not even at half health yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, the kippers are going to try and get out. Mm hmm. Nope. <laughs> They've only got right. plus one. Right. They're still inside of it. Uh, and it is now going to try and whelm you. Okay. Uh, it's going to reach out and try and engulf you uh, in its uh, in itself. Mm -hmm. uh, roll a strength saving throw for me. Mm -hmm. And this is a saving throw, not a check. Still only a seven. Seven? Yeah, you find yourself engulfed in jet stream. Uh -huh. uh, and it's very difficult to breathe in here. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to breathe as much as <laughs> underwater. But yeah. I know, but you know what I mean. It's <laughs> difficult to keep your breath held. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. And we'll uh, we'll forego the damage because I actually did that incorrectly. But okay, well, that's <laughs> fine. Um, I'm letting you off that. I'm letting myself off that. Noggin, uh, as you glance and look behind you to, to desperately, in the hope that Omorn is coming, uh, he's, he's, he's in the jet stream. Right. Is there anything that I can hide behind? Mm, make a perception check. Uh, that is uh, fifth, uh, 20, 25. There's 
Thank you. There's a bunch of old uh, piles of uh, metal and cogs over underneath the stairs. That looks like a very good hiding place to an ogin. But would it give me a line of sight to the... Yeah. Okay. So Absolutely. I'm gonna... You can peek out from between the, the assorted jumble. I'm going to cunning action, hide in there, get my crossbow out. Okay. Um, can I fire it in this round? So you've had your bonus action, you've had your movement. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll a stealth check for me though, quickly. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have the best. Thirteen. Question. No, it rolled a three. You're fine. <laughs> I rolled a three <laughs> as well, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, adds on. I just have a better more. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, and now attack, attack, attack. Faster, pussycat. Kill, kill. <laughs> uh, Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen will hit it as you send the crossbow bolt uh, directly towards Olmorn. In the hopes that the jet stream will stop it before it actually hits him. It's going to fire underwater. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Good. It's mostly stuff you have to aim with gravity that gets disadvantage. Oh, I see. Okay. Seven and my sneak attack. Uh, yes. Yeah, you get your sneak attack damage, Ten. which is four d six. Ten. Eleven. Fourteen. How many was that? Ah. You rolled three. And one more. 15 plus 4, so 19. 19 plus 7. Plus 7? That's 46. Oh, but plus my proficiency. No, plus your plus your plus um, plus the damage the bolt actually does. No, I added that in. Oh, right, so it's 19 total? 19 altogether. Okay, cool. That's actually quite disappointing for you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I rolled two ones. Oh, there you are. Um, the, the bolt does indeed tear a hole in the jet stream and it gets caught up in it, tearing another hole as it goes and it, mm-hmm. it eventually gets ejected mm-hmm. out the side, uh, mm-hmm. just floats up towards the ceiling. Um, Olmon, mm-hmm. strength saving throw to try and get out of this restraining unless you have anything else? I, I presume it takes an action to do that. Yes. I don't want to leave. Okay. I'm very happy here. What are you going to try and do? Uh, well, my spiritual weapon's going to keep whacking away, obviously. And I'm going to use up most of my spell points in a last ditch attempt to just keep whacking away at this thing by creating a guardian of faith next to it. Oh, you actually had advantage on that attack. But there we go. I hate anyone. Uh, by conjuring up a guardian of faith to appear next to the elemental. Okay. Effectively, um, it, if it fails saving throws, it should keep taking damage off it. And then that should hopefully take it out. It's wisdom, is it? It's a dex saving throw, actually. Oh, dex. Okay, it has dex. Uh, do you want me to roll that now? Uh, it's on its turn. Okay. I think I will do it. I'll just do it. Um, describe this 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 guardian of light for us. Much like the last time I did it, I'm trying to recreate... I'm asking for an avatar of my god to appear next to me and protect me. Okay, and what does this avatar look like? It looks like a sort of a bird-like man. He's about eight foot tall. Like a huge Magoro? Like a, no, not not quite. It's more like a man with some avian features. Oh, right, okay. And he's got multicolored feathers like I've been wearing, and uh, he wields a gigantic sword. Okay, fantastic. Mm. Um, this You watch Noggin as this, something you've not seen yet so far, uh, this eight-foot bird creature with a great sword just appears next to the jet stream. This reeks of Olmorn. Yeah. <laughs> and the spiritual weapon has a go. I'll give him a thumbs up. <laughs> Uh, what was the DC? It's 5 plus 7. 14. No, it doesn't hit. No, it doesn't hit. Um, cool. Now the kippers are going to have a go at you. They also would effectively be, wouldn't they? Any creature hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the Guardian? Yeah. Yeah. So the kippers would be affected by it too. Okay, so is this the end of their turn? Beginning at the top of their turn. Beginning of the turn, so they need to take wisdom saving throws? Dex saving throw. Oh, yeah, sorry, you 15. already told me that. Uh, they both fail. In fact, uh, with, a, with a 14 and a 7. Both swarms take 20 points of radiant damage. Oh! Yup. One swarm is entirely destroyed. <laughs> Fine. Because it already took 8 points of damage from Noggin. Yep. Uh, the other swarm seems severely damaged. Yep. Um, they, you're now just floating amongst a bunch of dead fish. <laughs> Um, in a jet stream. Average Thursday, yeah. Um, <laughs> and as you're looking at these bunch of dead fish, like, um, average Thursday, um, 
you realise some of them are still alive and they yep. come and bite you straight on the nose <laughs> as, you're, <laughs> as you're looking at it. Um, and you take seven piercing damage. Right. From, from, the, uh, from the fish out of nowhere. Right. Biting you on the nose. Yeah. The water elemental is going to roll a deck saving throw uh, and it's going to fail. Uh, and 20 you, points. Yep. And you watch uh, Noggin as this great eight foot creature brings its great sword across uh, the um, the jet stream and completely missing Olmorn divides it in two and then the jet stream does reform but it takes a lot longer to reform this time than it did earlier. I'm afraid that is all the damage that Guardian does so it is it is it's gone. now gone? Yep. Okay well it did a good it did a good job. Yeah that's what it's there for. Um, oh did it only get three, three yeah, attacks? Yeah three something? attacks and it goes. Okay cool fine. Yeah. Uh, so the, kip, the no kipper's meat shielded that, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the water elemental is meat now shields. going to try and crush you. Mm -hmm. uh, can I get? Oh no, you're just you're just restrained, so it's just going to get to do the damage. Oh. Eight damage. Right. Uh, as the the jet stream, di you get the impression that it's trying to throw the dead fish at you uh, <laughs> while it's within you, and you just get hit. By these, which feels like it <laughs> feels like it, it shouldn't do damage, <laughs> but it's so insulting. But it's so <laughs> insulting. You take eight psychic damage <laughs> as these fish hit you in the face. Sure, um, Noggin, it's now your turn. Your crossbow is unloaded. Right. Well, can I load it using yeah. fast hands? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Sure. So you can use very quickly. You've been in this situation before, mm -hmm. back when you were trying to go to that that sunken ship. You remember the sharks, and yeah. you're just like, right. Know how to and do this underwater? Very <laughs> quickly, pull the uh, the crossbow back, ready to fire. And do I need to do another stealth check? To, to um, no, no. I'm gonna say no. It doesn't know where you are. Okay. Okay. Of 10, so. <laughs> that is a 21. Yeah, that hits. It's a water thing that lives in water, doesn't need much perception. Okay. Four. Seven. Uh, ten. Thirteen plus seven plus four. P Thirteen plus seven is twenty, so twenty-four. Twenty-four. That's a bit more like it. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Can that. <laughs> Um, the water elemental is definitely looking shaky now. As this new crossbow bolt enters it, it's not able to reject it, mm -hmm. and the sh splinters and shards of it continue in its jet stream. Mm -hmm. um, and a bubble of air escapes from your mouth as you're like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and then you realize it's been seven rounds you've been underwater. Yep. Um, so I 23 believe. to so go. So you've got 23 <laughs> more rounds of air left. Right, that mechanic is not good. Yeah. <laughs> we can nerf that. I think we probably for, should. For future. Yeah. Um, it's... Let's see. It's not very intelligent. Nope. <laughs> so it's going to continue fighting you. Sure. Um, yep. it, so the, well, we've got the kippers first, don't we? I've not had a turn. Oh, you've not had a turn. Time. Sorry, Olmon. It's yeah, all right. Go for it. Um, I cast Cure Wounds on myself with my last spell points. Okay. And Beacon of Hope is still active, so that's 12 hit points returned. Sure. I then like the spiritual weapon, if possible. Did you only have enough spell points for a first level spell left? Yep. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> and now, now we've got the rest of the adventure to do. Long rest, I think. Long rest. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, there's no time pressure. Um, I'm going to... Cast Cure Wounds on myself, and then uh -huh. as the bonus action, I'd like the spiritual weapon to focus on the Quippers, because I believe it would take them out, and then they're done. Fingers crossed. Okay, the spiritual weapon, with a, a remarkable amount of sentience for a spinning set of blades. I've imbued it with sentience. Aims at the, uh, at the fish within the uh, So it's attacking water through the elemental. It is. Interesting. Mm. Mm. And it misses. <laughs> um, Critical failure, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ro roll a no. ro 
roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, that's a that's an eighteen. Okay, for a moment there, you, you you're overcome with despair, <laughs> yeah. and the spiritual weapon flickers slightly, but you keep uh, it up. Okay. You manage to keep it up. It's not a concentration spell. I know it's not, <laughs> <laughs> but that was a critical failure. Also true. Yep. Um, okay, uh, the water elemental is going to have a look around for Noggin. Ooh. No. Roll a, <laughs> roll a stealth check for me, Noggin. Come on, Noggin, we can do this. We're so close. Okay, that is a uh, 28. Okay, yeah, it does. <laughs> 28? Yes. <laughs> it has. That's no, very high. <laughs> it, it has no idea where you are, and thus, considering it's already got its other prey inside of it, it's going to continue down another level of steps away from Noggin, uh, swimming at a remarkable speed. Olmorn, you're suddenly <laughs> whisked away. Spirit Jeff just follows me. <laughs> sure. Um, but at a slower pace. A much slower pace, um, unfortunately. Yeah. It, it moves at 90 feet down the uh, next set of stairs, around mm. a corner, down the next set of stairs, uh, and catches up, in fact, with the clanker that you were following. He's <laughs> <laughs> just been walking oh, this whole God. time. Uh, down two flights. Um, and you also take... Oh, lordy me. That's not good. 19 points of damage. Bludgeoning damage. Noggin, you've just seen that happen. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to follow after. Okay. So dash, dash, dash. It is way too... Oh, yeah, you've got you've got your, your super sp speedy rogueness. Yep. So... She goes 25 34 plus 17 and a half. <laughs> Four, 41? 42. 42. So you, you manage to travel 42 feet. You swim out. You're uh, imbued with this adrenaline surge. Yeah. You move down the stairs, around the corner, um, down this, around towards the next set of stairs, and that's as far as you get, yeah. but you still haven't caught up with it. You have no idea where it is. Oh, oh Morn. Oh, the kippers didn't get a go. Uh, you take... Uh, I've only got six hit points. Good, good. You take six damage. I am unconscious. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so... I can do it I know. Time. So, Olborn, can I have a death saving throw from you, please? Yep. Adva advantage, though, because you've still got the thing, right? Yeah, beacon yep. of hope. Yeah, well, well remembered. Come on, 20. Can't even just 120. Nope. One success, though. One success. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, since you're taking bludgeoning damage from being within this elemental... Yeah. Presumably, that would count as an automatic failure. Yes, it would. So, also mark an automatic failure. Lovely. Thank you. I shall. <laughs> um... <laughs> Noggin, it's up to you to save oh Olmorn God. <laughs> in 20 rounds or fewer. <laughs> well, 22. No, no, in two rounds or fewer. Uh, oh, yeah, well. Oh, yeah. You have 20 rounds of bare air left and he's uh, he's oh, being crushed. goodness. Right. <laughs> we can do it. Well, you can do it. I'm not going to do it. Who knew that this unassuming battle would be the one that would kill Olmon? It's a shame if it does, but I accept we it. We should have just run away. Why didn't we just run away? Not the run away type of. Okay. Is it my turn? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. How far away am I from the thing? From the thing? From the thing. You can't see the thing. Do I know where the thing has gone? You presume it's gone deeper. Because it's you're, you're, within a you're within a tower. Yeah, so must have gone down. So I'm just gonna swim down, keep swimming. Triple dash. Yeah. As it were, mm -hmm. or double dash. Um, short. So you go down another forty-two feet um, as you're swimming even deeper towards the uh, the bottom of the ocean, and the pressure sort of pops your ears as you go down this level. Um, Olmorn doesn't feel that, and nope. <laughs> um, and you see the water elemental uh, with Olmorn floating within it. Engaged in battle with a shark. Oh, for God's sake! In yeah. front of him. <laughs> yep. And there are three sharks. Oh God! 
uh, all, all around it, uh, and the sharks flit out into the ocean, and the water elemental jumps after them, um, moving uh, at that ridiculous pace as well. So they've gone out the window to fight outside on the seabed. You also see the clanker just walk through the door ever so slowly onto the seabed. Uh, you are now approximately 75 feet underwater. Okay. But that's my whole action, isn't it? That's your entire dash, turn. Almond, can I get a uh, death saving throw from you with advantage, please? This is really Yay. bleak. You know, I just worked out. What? I'll bet I get advantage. It's my spell. I'm dead. You're dead. Yeah, well, roll a, de- roll, roll a death saving throw with, without advantage. It's a 13. It's not a success, but... It's a success. Doesn't help me. It's another success. You get another failure. Yeah. Um, and the last of the kippers are killed as well. I've, uh, <laughs> as, uh, as they're within, Yay. within the water <laughs> elemental. So now you just see Olmorn floating there with dead fish circling around him. Um, it's always the most ignoble end that's the best, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was bound to happen, mate. Yeah, like, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, the water elemental seems to be winning this battle against the sharks outside. Uh, what do you do? Right. I. How far away am I now? <sighs> They're 90 feet away from you. Okay, so I would need to move in closer. You can get... They're within crossbow range at disadvantage. Yeah. Well, I don't really want to take a disadvantage. Oh, no, because you're underwater, so all ranged weapons have their first... Oh, no. How far... What's the... Is it 120? The, the light first crossbow. range on a light crossbow. I it's couldn't have on my head. It's 80, I think. I looked 80. it up. Yeah, it's 80. So they're there just, yeah, so they're just without really range. long range with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, 320. Yeah. But you don't get that underwater, yeah. unfortunately. No. So I'm going to swim in and try and... Well, he's already engaged with someone else, so it should be okay. So you swim your 17 and feet. And a half feet. 17 yeah. and a half feet, yeah. Can I try and hide? Those six inches, really important. (laughs) (laughs) Um, First time you said that today, Leo. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Um, uh, Can you try and hide? I mean, it doesn't know where you are, but you can try and sort of drift behind some coral. I will try and drift behind some coral. Drift behind some coral. (laughs) Sure. Listening lazily to the left. (laughs) Roll, roll Roll a hide check for me, a stealth check. That was 15? You drift behind the coral. Oh God, make it count. Um, <laughs> right, Then crossbow. I can fight off some sharks. <laughs> crossbow, reload. Come on, can do this. Oh no. Okay, so that seven plus six. It's 13, 13. is not enough to hit. Its AC is 14. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? And with, with, with that, as Noggin desperately looks on, the last bubbles of air escape uh, from... Oh, you, you, well, if you want to roll your saving throw... Because if I pass if this pass saving this, throw... Then you wake up. I wake up with point. one hit point and I have an action. No. No, no action. Because they're at the end of your turn. Ah. It's got to pass this. Well, the odds are with you, just. Just. <laughs> that's a two. So two. That's a failure. And as you watch on, the last air escapes from Olborn's mouth, and you can just see the light, the light, fade from behind his eyes as Olborn dies at the depths of the sea. And that's where we're going to leave oh, this episode oh, of Adventures oh, Wanted. We're oh, going to very quickly roll a new character for Chris, oh, I think. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, I'm really oh, sorry. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, I will remember your teachings. <laughs> um, and we'll hand back over to Kat, who has some very important tweeting to do, but, <laughs> but we've, we've got so to finish. Let's finish this into 100 characters. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> it's man, sorry, that was rather chaotic uh, and sad, so let's have a moment. Right. Um, feel free to come back, either watch or if you want to play through Caesar Spaces and it might be able to help these guys next mm. time. Um, so yeah, feel free to come back. Um, you can follow us on, we're tweeting on at Adventurers250. Um, we're here like every day. Uh, for 10 hours, 10 to 3, and then uh, 5 to 10. The whole fringe, apart from the 24th and 25th, so swing by at any point. 
Um, we are streaming as well on twitch.tv forward slash adventures123. You can also tune in there as well just to catch up and see what's next for these guys. Um, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. That's what not for all, but one. Just going to stay positive. Um, <laughs> I'm really sad. I don't oh, think I can. No. <laughs> um, I'm working on some other shows. Oh. Um, he no. was he was describing it earlier. It sounds awesome. It said this is uh, not culturally significant. Yeah, it's at Gilded Balloon at the museums. It's called This Is Not Culturally Significant. It's a one man show at quarter to midnight. So it's one for the night owls. Um, he performs the entire show nude and plays seventeen different characters. It sounds like sort of messy, silly fringe, but it's incredibly powerful, very important theatre. It's really worth watching. I strongly recommend it. What are you doing for I'm the publicist. I'm a PR person. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. Thanks Thank very much. Thank you so much for staying. Thanks. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you're going to draw some more. Oh, of course I will. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got uh, a character. I do. I, don't, I want plans. Don't worry. I haven't planned all the way through. Yeah. 